Hey, so today I'm here to film a video for you on this eye look. Mm, I had no idea what I was doing today and I was like, you know what, I just want to like blend colors and practice that some more. So I was like, fuck it, we're just gonna do like some weird shape. I don't know, I feel like it looks pretty. Uh, I have a question. So whenever I make videos, I always feel like I need to like tell a story or like something about my life or like be personal in some way. Does it bother you if I don't do that? Is it just like straight up boring if it's just like a tutorial and I don't have anything really to talk about? I don't know. I just, I need to know if I should be stressed about it or not. What is on my face? What is on my face? Why does it look like weird redness happening? Okay. My camera's about to overheat. So if you want to see how I got this weird green blue look then just keep watching okay so i'm gonna start with the p louise eye base 0.5 okay so i'm gonna use my bh cosmetics take me back to brazil <laughs> i said this on something like someone asked me what i used and i was like this and they're like you use that all the time and i'm like yep <laughs> it's basically the only thing i use other than the jawbreaker palette but i'm just gonna take this black and start with that i'm gonna take it on this angled brush so that i can like make a shape hopefully the other day I did this look, um, I'll pop it up, and it was like black to blue, and like I started with the black, and then went to like dark blue, and then like teal, and then light blue, and it ended up looking really good doing it like that. Like a lot of Instagram people will make videos where they do their eyeshadow like that, instead of starting with the lightest, they start with the darkest. So like I'm gonna try that again. So they don't have to be perfect because I'm going to end up carving out this inner part anyway because it, it does not look very good. So I'm going to take this shade right here. Looks kind of like a darkish green a little. I'm just going to like pack this beside the black. I love this little brush. It's like a little dome fluffy brush. It came in like I think a makeup revolution eyeshadow palette <laughs> but there might be some that you can buy somewhere that are similar i'm not sure and then i'm gonna go in with um the green that's beside that one it's a little bit brighter of a green <laughs> i feel like whenever i shade things like this it feels like like coloring <laughs> and then i'm gonna take the lime green Okay, so I feel like the green looks really pretty, but I need to blend between the black and that green. So I'm gonna go into my e.l.f. Mad for Matte Jewel Pop palette because it has like a more foresty dark green in it. <laughs> so we're gonna try to put this up in here. Oh yeah, that's nice. So you're gonna wanna just keep blending and going between the colors until you like how it ends up looking. <laughs> I feel like I'll be able to tell how it looks better if I go ahead and cut this out. Okay, so I <laughs> really tried to fix it up. I went um, and cut that out and then I went back over around the black with the angled brush and then like I cut it out again and like the more times you do that the better it ends up looking. I have tried to go into this little part right here and just make it like fade nicely and now i'm gonna go into my favorite blue color the neon blue from the take me back to brazil palette <laughs> i wiped off this angled brush so now i'm using it for blue okay so i just made like this angled line outwards okay i'm gonna take my la colors chrome liquid liner in the shade liquid gold and um do a little bit of painting right in here okay so um i'm gonna like take this teal color and deepen this back part of this just so there's like some depth you ever see them videos where people are doing like the most beautiful perfect makeup and they're like a makeup artist is doing it on someone's eyes who are like shut i feel like if i could just shut both my eyes while i do my makeup it would turn out so much better there'd be like no creases to work with okay i'm gonna have to like cut this again just slightly i'm gonna try to set in here with like a white powder so it's not 
what so i've now decided that i want this green to come in like a little bit um farther so i'm taking the lime green and we're just gonna start like dragging it inward and then i'm gonna take like the darker green fade that in okay and now i'm gonna put something on my brow bone should i use a gold color or a green color <laughs> Kind of feel like green would be pretty. I want to use this LA Playa single eyeshadow from ColourPop. I mean, <laughs> not very much glow happening. I think I'm going to put um, my favorite one, my treat, on top because it glows like way more. So today I've decided I'm going to just keep on my tie-dye shirt because I plan on doing nothing today. So there's no reason to put on normal people clothes. And I'm trying to let the sides grow out now and look look at them. Look, can you even tell? They look insane. <laughs> they just stick up like a crazy person. Okay, so I'm going to take my P. Louise eye base and touch of frost, which is blue. Put this under here. But I only want to do it like this far i want it to like kind of match the top okay i'm gonna use the blue from the jawbreaker palette i feel like it's like a little bit brighter so yesterday we finally put lila inside of a pumpkin she did not like it was um impossible to get any pictures that looked good where she looked happy but i mean i have some cute ones i posted on my facebook but yeah it was a struggle but it's okay i feel like they're so cute enough why are you licking me why why does this look so blue i probably from the base i probably should have put a base on the top ones because they look almost gray blue <laughs> and this is like blue blue <laughs> my hair is fucking disgusting like what is in it what is in it <laughs> yet i wonder if i could paint my lashes with this gold <laughs> okay barely actually barely you were a waste of time what do i put in my water green <laughs> sure why not i feel like i want to put something on the inner corner to glow but like what though <laughs> wait 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 <laughs> okay why is this so dirty <laughs> it's like not even old uh, i'm gonna use this stila little white lies liquid eyeshadow in the shade mint myth it's like green beauty wait i need a brush Ooh, la, la. So I ended up um, caving and buying the freaking stupid ColourPop lilac monochromatic eyeshadow palette. <laughs> it was like an impulse buy. Did not need it. Really wanted it for some reason. So when I get that, I guess I'll probably make like a lilac look with it. Should be here soon enough. I think it shipped today. Okay, so I think this is the finished look, and it's, it's pretty, pretty interesting. It's kind of hard to see that blue on the top. Like, okay, in person I can, but like on camera, I feel like it's like really hiding behind the eyelashes, but like, mm, I like it, and I kind of feel like it matches my shirt slightly. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's all for this look. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.